Holy Wiremod here, and this is tutorial 5b in the Expression 2 series, where I'm going to be going over key and conditional functions for entities. So let's start by getting rid of what we don't need. And I will define int of type entity and RGB of type vector. And let's get an if first or, or duped statement here. So if it's spawned or duplicated, we want to define int as owner and RGB will start it off as red, which is 255.00. Now, an entity has the ability to, when it presses a key, it can trigger an event in expression 2 chip. So let's set that up with an if statement. So say if entity presses the attack 1 key, which is the left click, then we're going to shift RGB to the right by 1. So this vector is going to become a 255, I mean a 0, 0, 255 instead of a 255, 0, 0, if you remember that from prior video. And all this is going to be happening at an interval of 500 ticks. So let's uh, get that uploaded and pasted, and we'll have a lamp as well. And I'm going to wire that RGB to RGB. All right. Now, when you notice, I'm holding my left click down, and the colors are changing at an interval of 500. When I let go, it stops changing. When I hold it, I can stop it any color I want. Now, since you get the general premise of this, you can also do it with the use key. You can also do it with reload. And... Um, there's a bunch of other functions you can use. It's all in the E2 wiki. But you can also do conditional things, like, um, actually, might as well do sprint real quick, and show you, like, when I'm sprinting, this light's going um, as such. I'm actually going to return that to attack 2 and add a conditional value, or attack 1, rather, and add a conditional value to this, so you get an idea. So we'll say when the key is pressed and the entity is crouching then switch the light so I'm holding my attack one key down right now and it's not switching however when I start crouching now it starts to switch and just like the uh, attack one or the key functions you have a list of conditional functions that you can also get from the expression 2 wiki say are they an admin um, are they in no clip are they even alive uh, all these things can be asked. And if you recall from prior tutorial video, we have an apply force and apply angular force, and this heavily uses the entity function. As you can see in this line, we have int apply force. Um, this one, we have int apply angular force. We have int entities elevations being taken, the owner's aim position, that's still entity function. All this is a bunch of entity functions, really. Um, but let's add on to it actually, so let's paste this on the ground and get this cube. As I promised you, I would actually add a turret this or a turret to this. So let me show you how to do that real quick. So let's start by freezing this cube. Um, this is the front point of the cube, so we're going to want to put the turret here. All right, now turrets have a fire function, so let's see. Actually, we're going to need an output on here and we'll call it fire and say if entity or actually in this case we don't use entity it's owner at um, key attack one saying if I left click then fire equals one else fire equals zero and this is going to allow me to make the gun fire but first I have to wire it up real quick. So let's go to fire, to fire, awesome. And now it's firing wherever I want to. If I were to go to the NPC spawn creator right here, so you can see it in effect. Oh. Now granted my uh, weapon could be a little bit powerful, but or more powerful, but you get the general idea. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to be going over how to actually 
uh, make trails and set trails on your entity. And after that, who knows, uh, probably a raise or something. So I hope you got a lot for this, and I'll see you guys next time.